CataractCoach.com, microcornea and a coloboma. So beautiful management of a very challenging surgical case here. So let's take a look here. Not the best video quality, so forgive that, but how often do you see a case with microcornea and a coloboma? Now, a little bit of tripan blue dye was injected. Be careful here. Don't inject too much dye. And remember, where the coloboma is, there's also a lack of zonular support, and you have a communication there. So you can inadvertently put blue dye and have it go in the vitreous cavity, and you'll lose your red reflex. So now iris hooks going in to expand that pupil and give it a little more working room. And you can see a little bit of wrinkling there with the lens capsule, so a little bit of zonulopathy. See the wrinkling there? There you go. So using a sharp cystome is helpful. And now getting more what viscoelastic, you know, micro forceps. Look at those. I like those forceps. And getting the rex is completed. Now this is the best we could do with the quality of video that was sent in. So forgive me on this. And uh, the video is not really well centered. The resolution isn't so great. But hey, it's still a neat case and there's still a lot to learn here. So again, using these uh, forceps to create our rexes. Keep in mind too, this patient may have a very small lens. The crystalline lens may be smaller shape as well. And so making an incision here, and let's take a look what's gonna happen next. So in a case like this, luckily it's not a super dense cataract. You gotta be, oh, capsular tension ring in first, a CTR going in, all right. So now you've got a CTR in the capsular bag along with the whole nucleus. So there's the CTR going in, nice and easy. Dial that around and let's see if we can see it coming around the other direction. And this is a challenging case for sure. And it, sometimes in cases like this, you need more than just a CTR. You may need a capsule tension segment or a Sioni ring or something similar. So now getting that in the capsule bag, using a couple of Sinsky hooks, and it's delivered in there nicely. So that's a big help. Here comes the FACO probe now. And let's see some FACO here. Looks like maybe a groove down the middle. Perhaps a stop and chop technique. Okay, another iris hook. That's good. Always good to have a visualization improvement. And so now I'll bring in that nucleus up, a little bit of a chop technique here. Yeah, I'd like to get this nucleus up out of that bag if I can to a good degree. And just be cautious. And this is a very tough case. So FACO being done here, getting that nucleus out. And... The key here, too, is making sure you have good stability of the new IOL when it's placed in there, and then also making sure that you've got um, no vitreous prolapse from around that one area of the coloboma. Now, the question is, do you suture the iris coloboma? And I think the answer is typically not really. Patients used to this. That's how the, the pupil has functioned for the patient, and you want to avoid doing too much in this case. So removing the, the lens material here looks like a little epinuclear shell coming out. And that goes in quite easily. And now let's examine the capsule bag and see what we got. So cortex removal. And remember, this is a little more challenging on the cortex removal. And you have to go a little bit more tangential, circumferential even, because the patient has a capsule tension ring in place. And that can hold some of the cortex up against the capsule bag equator. So just taking your time here, a bimanual approach, I like, that's a great choice. And now here comes the lens. Let's see that being delivered. Looks like a single piece acrylic lens. Probably a standard size lens, but it's gonna look absolutely humongous in this eye, right? So there's the leading haptic, here comes the optic. Probably a six millimeter optic, so you can see, wow, what a tiny little eye this is. And so the caps are bag also quite small. I like the idea of these single piece lenses because they're a lot more flexible and able to uh, really fit into that tighter, smaller caps or bag. Iris hooks could come out of the eye now. And that looks like a very nice result. It's time to just seal up the incisions. And again, there's that colobomatous area. I may put a little triamcin in the anterior chamber right now just to make sure that there's no prolapse of vitreous through that gap of the coloboma. Again, there's probably loss of um, zonular support there and there can be an opening. So a little air bubble here at the end, hydrating the incisions and looks like a beautiful case. So thank you, Dr. Mishra for sending in this video. You did a great surgery for your patient and I'm sure the patient is very happy with the new vision. Thanks for watching.